Hello everyone. In this video, we will slightly expand the application we made in this series. If you're just joining in and would like to learn how this application was made, just follow through the playlist and link in the description. Now, the app pushes every task to Freshdesk, which is good, but I'd like if we could control which tasks get pushed over to Freshdesk depending on the project. We don't really need any fancy interface, and Lumen doesn't really come with views either, so I think a simple JSON configuration file could satisfy our needs. Okay, let's do this. First, let's get a package which would allow us to pull the list of the available projects on Buckhead. We're going to use this package I made, and we should require this with Composer. By the way, there is a YouTube video on how this exact package was made, so don't forget to check it out. We can then create a config file and add our API key here. I'm going to do this outside the video, but once it is done, we should go ahead and add our service provider and the facade class to our app.php file. Next. We are going to create a new command that we should be able to trigger anytime by our cron job. Let's call this refreshprojects.php. I'll be using the inspire command that comes with Laravel as our starting point. We can rename the class and just remove some of the includes. And the signature of the console command will be projects refresh and we can set the description as well. I'd like to set up the Buckhead client when constructing the command. This can be done very easily. We can just type in this, but don't forget to call the parent method. Finally, we'll define the Buckhead property. The handle method is called when we run the command in the terminal. I want to pull all the projects from Buckhead and create the JSON file here in this method. We're going to get the list of projects and dump it out. Let's see if this works. Now, I noticed that our command is not showing up here, so we will have to register this with the kernel. Open the file and just add the path to the command into this array. We can run the command now. And it is looking good. Go back to your editor. Now I'd like to check if this project variable is an array and return if not. Also, I'd like if each project ID would contain the name of the project and the boolean value where we can enable or disable the synchronization. Let's dump this and see how it looks. Good. Okay, let's move all this code to its own protected function, just to keep everything nice and clean. You see so much cleaner like this. I'd like to save this array we are getting to a JSON file. And for that, we should really use the Laravel file system. So the file name will be projects.json and we want to return a pretty formatted JSON string, obviously, because we actually want to open and read the file. Oh, and don't forget to include the facade at the top. Lumen doesn't come with the fly system package, which we will be needing in order to use the file system. We can get this with Composer, though. Once this is done, we will have to register the file system service provider in our app.php file and activate the file system configuration. Now, we should also create the config file, and I do have a code snippet that I'm going to use in this case. This only defines a local disk that is pointed to our story slash app directory. Just save it, and we can run the command, which will hopefully place a new file in our storage. Perfect. This is looking very good, and we can easily change the sync values to true or false. But there is one issue. 
And that is, if we run the command again to refresh our project list, then these values will be replaced as well. See? So we have to preserve these values. And in order to do that, we have to add a couple more lines of code. We should get the content of that file before replacing it. We're going to use the storage facade and the get method. We will also have to decode the JSON string, obviously, and I want to get associative arrays. So let's just put true at the end. Basically, all I have to do now for each project is to replace the new sync value with the old one. Save it and run the command to test it. It looks good and none of these values have been changed. There's only a side problem though. And that is, if there is no JSON file, it is going to throw a file not found exception. See? I don't really want this, and it should go ahead creating the file instead. So we can catch this exception and just do nothing here. Don't forget to include at the top though. We should place most of the code into the try clause and just do nothing for now. Save it. And something is wrong here. Let me see. Should be working. Save it again. And it is working. I'm not sure what happened there. Okay. So far so good. Everything is working as it should. And we can just run this command via a cron job or a lot of a scheduler to keep our file updated. One thing left to do, and that is to get our app to filter the incoming test webhooks and only forward the right ones. Open your API controller and we should really get the content of our JSON file into a variable. We can call these projects. Now, this is definitely a repeating code, and we should really create a helper class for this, but we are not going to cover that in this video. So we have this project variable, and we can create a new variable for the task as well. Then we can check if it exists, and then we can check if the array contains the project at all. If it does, and the sync value equals to true, then we can push it to the queue. I want this integration to be more effective, so it does make sense to include the name of the project in the subject of the ticket. I want the subject to consist of the project name and part of the description, maybe 15 characters long. We should not forget to edit our job as well to include the subject. That's it. We can test this now. Open up Postman to send a request containing the task. It should be in your History tab. Then in your terminal, just process one job from the queue. Then have a quick look at the dashboard in Freshdesk. It seems to be working. So we are finished here and I pushed this version of our application to GitHub as well. You will find it in a separate branch. Thanks for watching the video and I really hope that you learned something new. Please don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. You can also leave your comments below and I will try to reply as soon as I can. Thanks.